this is our first video on indirect material procurement cycle in SAP. This video is about the introduction of uh, indirect material process or uh, what is the definition of indirect material procurement in SAP. So indirect material process is used for consumable or non-evaluated stock. So what is the definition of uh, this indirect material procurement? Uh, it is used for consumable or non-valuated stock. Indirect procurement process is used for consumable such as spare parts, office supplies, etc. So indirect material procurement process, it is an act of purchasing services or supplies required to keep the day-to-day -day uh, business alive. This includes things such as repairing equipment, buying office supplies, or acquiring services. So what is a business uh, scenario of uh, indirect procurement cycle in SAP? For example, there is an enterprise and that, that is a manufacturing company and they are manufacturing mobile handset. And they require indirect materials such as stationery, printers and computer for their staff to carry out day-to-day -day business activities. So out of these material, office supplies are kept in stock, but computers are procured on and as a needed basis. So these items are procured directly for a cost center and the cost of the material are posted into the cost center consumption account. So we need to create a GL account as an expense. In this case, these items are not managed on a value base in inventory management because the material costs are directly posted into the consumption accounts. So when a material is procured directly for a consumption account, uh, we don't need a material master record. Then example of consumable, okay, as so we can have consumable material without a material master records such as clip, pen, pencil, sharpener. So these are the office supplies. We don't need a material master records for them. Then we have another scenario that we need consumable material with a material master record because we want that my client, they want to track the consumable quantity in your inventory and each issue and receipts need to be tracked. However, the material valuation isn't posted to the stock account at the time of good receipt. So indirect material aren't managed on a value basis. They will not update the stock valuation. The materials are procured for a cost center and the material value is posted into the consumption account. The example of consumable material type uh, that material type for non value uh, for non stock material is n lag n l a g and material type for non valuated stock in sap is u n b w these are the default material type for consumable items in sap so indirect material process is used for consumable or non valuated stock 